Hello colleagues, my name is Connie Rijken and as the chair of the Ethics Review Board I am proud to present to you the work and the members of the Ethics Review Board. The other members are Eleni Costa, Bert van Roemunt, Wesley Kaufman, Jan Jans and Linda Martis, who is the secretary of the Ethics Review Board and is also the data representative of the Tilburg Law School. We started the preparation for the Ethics Review Board at the request of the Faculty Board last year in June. We will be operational at the end of this month in May 2018. We will have a combined plan uh, that combines ethics review and data management as well as registration of, uh, of the research. We have joined forces with other schools from uh, Tilburg University and we have now developed one online integrated application form. This is at the central university level where there is a website where you can submit your application. However, the assessment is done by the Ethics Review Board of the specific school. Now, why is Ethics Review needed? Well, first it is to prevent harm to your research subjects as well as the researchers. Secondly, it is to make you aware of the ethical aspects of your research. Thirdly, it is also to ensure compliance with the Netherlands Code of Conduct of the VSNU. And fourth, it is to facilitate your publications in high-ranked journals, because this uh, ethical review is often required by these journals. Now, what research should be submitted to us? Well, first, it is research involving human research participants. Secondly, and it is central to the ethic review, is the harm. If there is uh, a risk of harm or that might be ha your research might be harmful, um, that research should be submitted for review to the ethics review board. This is at least the case if the research involves vulnerable persons or groups like victims, minors, minorities, etc. Research that involves sensitive data and third, if the research design is endangering participants or the results of the research risk uh, abuse. The further explanation of what research should be reviewed, you can find in the Ethics Review of Tilburg Law School. It's a document that will be put on our website. And if you're still not sure whether your research should be submitted to us, then you can contact us by email. Please note that you remain responsibility for the decision whether or not you submit it uh, for ethics review. If you want to learn more about the procedure for ethics review as well as data management, please look at the other two info clips as well. Good luck. <laughs>